everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special news story for you. The world's first sustainable city has been created and I get to personally interview the owner. I hope you enjoy. Hi. Hi Bella, how are you? I'm great, and yourself? Doing good too. So the first thing I want to ask you is why did you create this city? You see, all across the world, it is known that the economy relies heavily on the environment. The United States is known for selling the Earth's most precious natural resources, most of which are non-renewable, for both generating electricity and consumer use. In our city, we do indeed use the Earth's most natural resources, but we use the ones that have perpetual quantities and we produce the least amount of pollutants as we possibly can. This is the main goal of our city, and this is what it's like to live sustainably. Wow, that's truly amazing. So how do you get your electricity? We have three main sources for our power, all of which are renewable. Our main source of power comes from solar energy. It has a moderate net energy yield, no direct emissions of CO2 and other air pollutants, and does not disturb land. We also use hydroelectric and wind power. Hydroelectric power has a moderate to high net energy yield. The electricity is cheap, low emissions of CO2 and other air pollutants. For wind power, it has a moderate to high net energy yield again, Low electricity costs, no direct emissions of CO2 or other air pollutants, it's easy to build and expand. If one can't be used, there are always backups for production of power. There are always jobs to be found running our energy sources. Schools teach the importance of renewable energy and living sustainably, and students have the option of going to a vocational school that teaches them all about the engineering and running of our renewable energy sources, with the hopes that they will find a career in the field. We also have jobs in waste disposal and agriculture, so you could grow a farm for our grocery stores, or you could clean our garbage. How do you guys get around town? In our city, there are no cars. Nobody owns a motor vehicle, and nobody even needs one. We have mass transportation systems for long distances, but most of the time our city is small, so people use bikes or walk around town. What do you do with all your waste? One of the top priorities of our town is to compost as much as possible. If we can do that, there will be barely any waste that needs to be placed in a landfill or hazardous waste center. We aim to produce as little waste as we possibly can because in the long run, it makes our lives a lot easier. We have composting centers. Just like a landfill, all of your garbage, or most of it, can be brought to our four composting centers, one located in each corner of the town. Composting trucks will come by and pick up your garbage just like any old garbage truck. We charge for the disposal of waste that cannot be composted, whether it be plastic or hazardous chemicals. When there is a price for the disposal of these materials, this will hopefully cause the production of less of this waste. How do you recycle your water? We have sewage treatment plants for our water. No pollutants are allowed to enter our water sources, and if you're caught, you will be kicked out of the town. What is your housing system like? Every single person in our town lives in a sustainable apartment, and to ensure that we do not hit our population capacity, immigrants must have an interview in order to be admitted to live in our town, and children who are born here must also have an interview once they reach adulthood. Those who are not permitted to live here anymore will be forced to move out, and we will pay for their first three months of rent outside the town. How do you guys get food? All of our food is locally and organically grown, and we encourage everyone in our town to not eat meat because we love our animals. We have farms basically everywhere scattered across the town. Everyone has a horse, everyone has chickens. Everyone basically grows their own food, but for some people they can go to grocery stores. I'm amazed at how much work was actually put into this and how your town is actually truly sustainable. I always thought it was impossible. Well. Thank you. I'm sure now everyone knows that living sustainably is possible and everyone should do it. Thank you for watching. Bye. Long enough to let it go. Are you restless?